Our objective in this video is to solve analytically the Burgers equation with the following initial condition. As we did for the direction equation, the solution of this problem can also be constructed using the method of characteristics. This method consists of reducing a hyperbolic partial differential equation to a family of ordinary differential equations along which the solution can be integrated from some initial data on a suitable hypersurface. The characteristic equations for this problem are the following. Integration of the second equation tells us that u is constant along the characteristic and integration of the first equation shows that the characteristics are straight lines. Here, c is the point on the x-axis where t equals 0 from which the characteristic curve is drawn. In other words, it is the x-intercept of the characteristic curve drawn in the xt plane. Since at a given point the velocity is known from the initial condition, and the fact that this value does not change as we move along the characteristic emanating from that point, we can write that u equals f of c on that characteristic. Therefore, the trajectory of that characteristic is x equals f of c times t plus c. Thus, the solution is of the following form. This is an implicit relation that determines the solution of the inviscid Burgers equation provided characteristics don't intersect. If the characteristics do intersect, then a classical solution to this partial differential equation does not exist and leads to the formation of a shock wave. In fact, the breaking time before a shock wave can be formed can be calculated and is given by this equation. Consider now, for example, the initial profile given by alpha times x plus beta, where alpha and beta are constants. This initial profile is a straight line with slope alpha and u intercept beta. Thus, the solution of this problem becomes alpha times x minus u times t plus beta. This can be solved explicitly to yield the following solution. We can see from the last equation that for each fixed time t, the solution represents a straight line with slope alpha over 1 plus alpha t. For the following initial conditions, we can compute the characteristic curves and the final solution. Both are illustrated in this graphic. If alpha is greater than zero, the slope of the straight line decreases as time increases and thus the solution flattens out with time. In this case, we have an expansion wave. On the other hand, if alpha is less than zero, the straight line rapidly steepens to vertical as t approaches the critical time at which point the solution ceases to exist. In this case, we have a shock formation. The velocity of the shock respects the rankine ugonio relation. In this formula, ul and ur are the velocities on either side of the shock. You can play with the initial conditions and the characteristic curves using the program that is available in my website. In the next video, we are going to solve the Burgers equation numerically. Stay tuned and if you liked the video, don't forget to follow the channel.